Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. So from this video session guys, we are going to learn about the backbone JS tutorial from scratch and this is our first video part of this video session series and in this video session we will discuss about its introduction part and overview of backbone JS and also we will see that our first application with custom message we will run in this video session so guys if you are lover of javascript framework javascript library then might you have heard about backbone chase backbone chase is the javascript library file which basically provides an interface of model view controllers interface to develop several single pages application as well as multi pages application somewhere if you go through the different definition part of backbone js then you find that it follows the pattern of model view and collections so i have just opened two different sites to see the documentation section of backbone js and these all documentations guys that we have taken from cocodeproject.com and as well as from this website so there are two basically sites that I have found for the basic documentation about Backbone JS. So Backbone JS follows this type of pattern as you can see controller view and model. So we need to understand the concept of view controller and model means what does actually view controller and model actually do in Backbone JS. So Backbone JS is a lightweight framework that lets create single page applications in a structured manner. It is based on model view controllers pattern and also if you find documentation of model. So basically model is what guys where we can access database through our application means model section is basically responsible for input and output of data which basically comes from views so have a look every application needs some way to of organization their data structure backbone will provide us with the possibility of creating models to manage all our entities so basically model section is responsible to organize our data structure okay guys and collections are simply a group of models together means if you make the collection of models array of models then array of models together they form collections and views are basically the user interface or the representation part of backbone chase means the basic problem in javascript applications is to handle the ui elements on views listening to their events and changing their values based on the data received backbone ease up this problem by providing an abstraction over the html elements means guys that backbone just provides the views layout for its interface to interpret the data which basically comes from models and collection so this is the big advantage of backbone chase and finally routers routers are responsible for rendering the pages in our application suppose if you are want to render from home page to about us page contact us page and several pages that we will make in a single page application so routers are responsible to navigate or render from one location to another location so these all are the key points guys that you have to keep keep in your mind while learning backbone chase and also guys about its dependency backbone js is a library file okay and it depends basically on two file it's it softly depends on jquery library file and it hardly depends on underscore js file as you can see backbone js has hard dependency on underscore js and soft dependency on jquery file so basically when we run j j backbone js program then we need two different files means two library files first one is jquery library file and second one is underscore js by using these two files we are responsible or we are able to run our applications in backbone js so how can you you find google on backbone js just go to google and type or type backbone js then you find the first link that is the official link of backbone js.org just click on that so this is the official website guys as you can see book backbone.js here you can find several resources about backbone js step by step to learn okay so if you want to run our backbone js application our first application to print custom messages we need to download three different files 
means first we have to download our soft dependency of jquery second backbone js and third one is underscore js so step by step we will download all these files to run our first application of like hello world or something message we want to print and also you can see the documentation section says backbone js gives a structure to web application by providing mad models with key value binding with custom events collections with a rich api of innumerable functions and views with declarative events handling and connects it all to your existing apis over restful json interface so this is the basic definitions guys that the documentation has covered so let's get started with the program just you have to download the jquery file backbone js and uh, you may say underscore js so guys to download jquery files underscore js and backbone js first you have to download jquery.js file so go to its official website jquery.com slash download in this from this website you can download the versions of jquery like download and compress it's a production version it's a development version so according to your need you can download the, your jquery file from clicking by this link and and one more file we need to like underscore js and underscore js.org is the official website where we can find the download link for that file just you have to click on this link to download the development version or if you want production version so according to you need just download one of the file from this and finally we need backbone js file so for the download backbone js file go to backbone js.org link and according to your need you can download either development version or production version so these three different files guys we need to make our first program in backbone js first backbone by clicking on backbone.js.org underscore js.org and jquery these three links guys from where you can download three different files for your backbone js so for running our first application i have actually downloaded here as you can see backbone js jquery 3.2.1 version and underscore js so let's make our first program so let's arrange its folder like structure just from that and paste it here so all these files guys we have moved into js folder now we are going to run our first program so let's it's a message dot html yes just click on edit with notepad plus plus and here we have to write first structure should be html head body and now we have to create link and the head section of our downloaded file so to link javascript files we use a script tag under src we need to give the path of those files like under js folder and guys the order of files that we need to use in backbone js like first should be our jquery file just copy this file and paste it and the second is underscore.js just rename this file copy the name of file and here just paste the name and the third file is backbone.js So this is the order guys that you have to follow while making any backbone js program first link should be the jquery file second link should be underscore js and third one is the backbone js so let's run our first application so let me test either it is giving an error or not let's open console inspect and click on console so all is okay there is no more any console log messages so we are going right now so to run our application message first application message of backbone so like jquery or dollar sign document dot ready function and now here we have to start to write our 
backbone js structure tool okay guys so we are going to make our first program so like where first view equal to backbone dot view dot extend and under this extend method we need to write some properties like render function and here we have to write some console.log message for now hello OWT I love your all ducks and so guys if you got confused right now that what's going on here so just get it of this and just see uh, our first application i will explain in later video sessions about views model controllers routing events and many more things in backbone js so this is our first application in which we have seen the definition of backbone js and introduction and overview so in this video session we are going to run our first message application in console so this is the view to create a view in backbone js this is the syntax that is backbone dot view and dot extend methods means we are going to create our first view in our application so under document dot ready function means when the dom object is loaded means when the first time the dom is loaded to our html page then by loading of that page we are creating a first view of backbone and this is the syntax of creating view backbone dot view dot extend and the render method which actually renders runs our view on browser okay and after running guys console.log this message actually prints into the console message now we're going to run our first view to run we have to make object of that view first view okay so where first view new and this is the first view okay so if you want to run our render method first view dot render so press control s to save just refresh this page so as you can see guys the statement that we have written into the console section now printed here hello OWT I love your alters okay guys so this is our first application let me explain what's going here we have created our first view okay for now just forget this this is the very basic syntax to create your first view backbone dot view dot extend this is the property guys that you have to write to create a view and this is the object that we have taken to store our view okay and to render our first view to render our first view we have used we have used render method okay render method we have used to run our first view okay guys and here we have created the object of our first view and first view dot render method is now rendered our first view and it's printed our message that we have written so far uh, so guys we have seen the documentation section overview and also we have run our first program of console some message and also guys one more thing if you don't want to means use render method here then just you have to use actually here in slice method initialize function comma here and you have to write this dot render method here in a video session i will explain about each and every functions of backbone chase to so don't be confused here on don't be off afraid from the backbone JS. It's a very basic library, guys, that you have to use to create single pieces application. It's a fast library file which provides a uh, flexible coding to you to means make coding structure of model view controller in the application. So if you have if we have used in slice method on, on our backbone view, then don't need to write back first view dot render methods when we control f5 to refresh then automatically while refreshing this page when the objects when created it automatically calls the in slice method and by calling in slices method we have actually called this dot render method so automatically this method actually called inside this method 
so guys we have seen our first application while running our custom message and also we have seen some documentation section of backbone.js here i have written some sort of points for you it's hard dependency on under, underscore dot js soft dependency on jquery so in later video session we will see that how can we actually use underscore js in backbone.js and it's also soft dependency because we have used actually the jquery library here as you can see and uh, one more thing guys in our backbone js tutorial video session series we will cover all these topics like views what are views events models collections and routers so small applications we have seen in this applications we have actually discussed about view so in later video session we will discuss in great detail about views models controllers collections and routers so everything we will see in great detail so don't be afraid about this video session so if you have any query about this video session then please do comment in can comment box i will give my reply as soon as possible guys and also you want to to see like videos of wordpress and many more tutorials then just find on online web tutor where we have provided lots of video series for free to you to learn and to grow your skills so guys i hope you like this video session so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day